Thanks for joining us for another DK Custom Products video. My name is Kevin, this is Dwayne, and today we're going to be talking about a very controversial <laughs> subject, yeah. and that is Harley going all electric according to the CEO of Harley. You guys will remember back a few weeks ago, Kevin and I did a video on Harley Davidson being a publicly traded company, uh, seeking out a certain ESG score and trying to reduce their carbon footprint, pretty much following suit with every other auto manufacturer out there. So recently Harley released a statement, as Kevin said, that they want to go all electric. So pretty much everybody knows about the live wire and how it bombed. That was yeah. Harley's first electric. Didn't work out. Like, and it bombed and they actually spun off the live wire all electric Harley into a different company. So it was really surprising to me when I saw the headline, Harley Davidson will go all electric, says CEO. And we're gonna put the link to this article in the description below so you can read it yourself. But the crazy thing is, Harley Davidson is planning to phase out motorcycles powered by its storied internal combustion engines and will slowly but surely transform into an all electric brand. Harley CEO Joaquin Zietz tells Dezine after 120 years of being famous for his big gas powered models, electrification is the logical next step. That is, if the company plans on sticking around for another 120 years. Harley Davidson's EV transition needs to happen, according to the CEO. And not just on a small scale, we're talking about HD dealerships selling electric vehicles exclusively. Although it isn't going to happen overnight. There's been a lot of talk mm -hmm. over the years about how crazy it is and about is Harley going to do it and Unless they get rid of that CEO and get a different one that takes the company in a different direction, he is going full force ahead to transitioning to Harley being a motor company, yeah. a true motor company, because electric motors are motors, gasoline motors are really <laughs> engines. So they're they're going all electric. It, when is it is it going to happen in five years, ten years? Who knows how long it's mm -hmm. going to take, but they are working towards that. It makes you wonder how will Harley fund such an endeavor? Like, how are they going to pay for, you know, changing yeah. over their tooling in their warehouses and their, you know, factories to manufacture such a bike? Yeah. And um, that was a question that was asked on one of the forums where I was reading comments. And a guy asked, he, I think he said something like, it's going to take tens of millions of dollars, mm -hmm. that much or more. Who's going to pay for it? Well, who's going to pay for it is all of us yeah. who are buying the last of the <laughs> gas-powered Harleys yeah. where they're making a good profit on it. They're going to use that money from the gas-powered uh, motorcycles that they sell to fund the retooling and R&D and everything for the electric motorcycles. It is insane what is happening. I think yeah. you mentioned it probably has something to do with the ESG rating because they're a publicly held company. You all go out and do your research on what ESG means yeah. and how it can impact publicly held companies. But yeah, they're going all electric. So that brings some questions to mind. Mm -hmm. And I'll ask you, Dwayne. Okay. Are you even the least bit interested in having an electric powered Harley Davidson? Um, yes and no. Like if that's the way everything goes, then I have no choice. I'm not going to stop riding motorcycles because I feel a certain way towards electric powered vehicles. If Harley doesn't evolve and go to electric in the next 20 or 30 years, there will be no Harley Davidson in the next 20 or 30 years. And there's gonna be plenty, plenty of used bikes out there, uh, just like there is now. You know, the value might rise, but you know, if if you want a Harley, it sounds like a Harley air-cooled combustion, internal combustion engine, they're gonna be found. Everybody watching this video right now 
your lifespan, <laughs> you're going to be able to buy a, a internal combustion bike for yeah. the rest of yeah. your life. Yeah. If you could please put in the comments down below, would you buy an electric Harley or would you rather buy a used gas powered Harley or some other motorcycle? But what are your thoughts on you personally owning an electric powered Harley Davidson? I myself have really no interest in an electric Harley Davidson. Yeah. Because whatever Harley comes out as far as electric, it's probably not going to be as good as other electric motorcycles. True. <laughs> and the reason that I myself and my wife like Harley Davidson's is because of the look, because of the sound, because of the unique feel yeah. that uh, a Harley Davidson has when you go on the throttle, lo all that low RPM torque, which of course an electric bike has all kind of low yeah. end torque. I mean, it, uh, it will be faster, it will accelerate stronger, but it does not feel the same. It does not. It does not feel the same. And for utility purposes, electric can be very good in a lot of instances. Yeah. I mean, very good. And yes, I use my Harley as uh, my transportation. Yeah. I don't own a cage. My wife has a truck. I use her truck sometimes, but my transportation is uh, motorcycles. So I do use it for utility, but I could use any motorcycle for utility. Yeah. I don't have a Harley for utility. I have a Harley because I like how it looks. Right. I like how it feels. I like how it sounds. And none of that is going to exist with an electric Harley. No. Just like it doesn't exist for me with the Sports Duress. Yeah, me neither. The look, the, it doesn't look like a Harley to me. It looks like a Polaris right. or something. It, to me, it looks rad for what it is, but if I want a cool looking sport bike, I'm probably not gonna look towards Harley Davidson for it. Yeah, so it's coming. It was very interesting <laughs> to see that he didn't pull any punches. Yeah. He said straight he said out. It, yeah. When I say he, I'm talking the CEO of Harley. Uh, he said straight out that they're going to all electric and that there will be a point in the not too distant future with all Harley de dealerships will be exclusively selling electric yeah. Harley Davidsons. So the times, they are changing. <laughs> And like Kevin said earlier, uh, please leave us comments, your thoughts on this. Me personally, until they make it to where I can just drive to you know, a service station and swap a battery out in the same amount of time it takes me to fill up a tank of fuel, I'm not getting an electric vehicle. But once that point comes, I think it is coming eventually, I might consider it. But we wanna hear from you. Let us know in the comments uh, what you think about the direction Harley's taken or if you will even ever consider fathoming the idea of owning an electric motorcycle. Y'all ride safe out there.